Hello and welcome to this webinar for those who want to get started with SPSS statistics. This is part 7 about recoding age to age groups by the easy visual binning command. And I can see that age has precise ages. So the commands to change variables are found under the menu transform here. So I choose the recoding command called visual binning. Here I put the numeric variable I want to redo by selecting and clicking on the arrow or moving them by drag and drop to the right box. And then I press the continue. Then I get a histogram of age in this example showing the full age distribution. I call this new variable age classes. And then I click on the make cut point so I can get breakpoints for the age classes. There are three different methods but I choose the middle one that gives about equal age classes. Then I choose how many breakpoints I want, and here I write two. That will give me three age classes by about 33% in each class. Click Apply. I see my bins in blue and red vertical lines inside the histogram. If I click on one line, I can drag it to change the boundary, but I can also type directly into the table for class one. For example, the value 40, then the line is moved. I change 53 to 55 instead. The last thing I do when I'm happy with the limits is to click on the make labels button and I get labels describing the age classes. So the first age class is up to 40 years old. The next one is between 41 and 55. And the last group is people above 55 here. Then I click OK. The new variable is in the data window to the right. And it consists of numbers with labels. So if I turn off the labels, you will see the numeric codes that SPSS works with. So if I want to choose the youngest age class, the one with code 1, just enter the code 1 in the selection. The labels are just a shell about the digit numerical codes to get more understandable tables and graphs. That's all for today. Thank you for taking the time to attend and welcome again.